here we go. So I've just picked up this Andeld steam cleaner. I'll give it a little go, it's only about 20 quid with the intention of cleaning down that gearbox. All the rest of the grip was on that and uh, up underneath in that engine bay. Matches the bus. bit at a time. Rome weren't built in a day was it? I'm just metal prepping these A arms as well ready for poor 15. This rear wing piece is going to need a dressing at some point. I'm just going to take the worst out now so it's ready for later on. So that's the filler taken back and that seems to be the grand scale of things. Let's get cutting. As usual, just giving it a little coat of rust converter on everything that I can see on the inside. Now, the next bit is... This whole bar's got to come out. So while I'm in the cutting mood, I might as well get on with it. So that's more than likely going to be the next piece to get welded in on the bus. Just cut myself a small section of steel that fits in nicely there, just with a little contour at the bottom, just so it flows. The more challenging repair is going to be up within that corner and along this edge where it's quite serrated. So I haven't got to cut too much out, only a small section, but. For a person with the skill set that I've got, still a little bit challenging for me. And that's also the same on this side of the bus, although the corner's not too bad, it's only a little bit of a serration there. On the rotten piece that I cut out, it's got that inspection hole there that was filled with a um, very small plastic plug. I will replicate that, but to be honest, I can't really see a real need for it. seam seal all the bits that uh, are still required a little bit of filler work just to smooth things out make it a little bit more pretty I've had quite a big delivery and um, that's probably going to give you a guess at what direction I've gone down with the uh, replacement panels but there's one part that I was quite excited about to find and 
that was that replacement rear bump stop on the off side, the driver side. Now this is actually listed down as a 64 to 67 part and this piece is exactly what I've got that's rotted out. So there it is again, the uh, rotted piece in question. It's actually missing its centre shaft that the uh, bump stop pushes up over. I've just got to figure out a way of uh, mounting that. Not sure whether I'm going to have to lose that bracket. But uh, this whole piece is going to have to come out. Just to show you a little difference in the uh, bump stop height also. That's the one that I took off. And obviously someone's hacked it down to allow for more suspension travel because it's just a lowered vehicle and that is the new one that I've received but obviously I have to do the same thing I'm not going to change the height of the uh, bus in any way so I'm going to have to cut it down but I do remember back in the day when I had a lowered beetle and someone had hacked away at the bump stop at a funny angle and the uh, inspection man MOT man didn't like it at all he put it down to where so basically had to get a bump stop and file it down into a nice looking shape so when he re-inspected it it was short but it looked better right so that should do the job I've just basically cut all the bracketry off just got to round off these edges and um, weld it straight on like that hopefully so next on the list is this small bracket that's had its corner piece snapped off where it's so brittle I'm sure I tried to make this before but I must have just given up and not gone back to it so this sits in front of one of the fuel tank braces that comes over and I believe it holds the uh, the wall up that hides it all there so here we go quite a simple one that just flattened out that bracket that piece of metal and traced around it so on the old bracket the screw holes are actually dimpled in they're dished in on the rear there just been able to recreate that on a new one and that was simply by putting a suitable size socket in the vise and using a punch just to drive through them holes. So that's that bracket welded in there now. And I've just gone through my stash of bolts looking for a suitable size one to pass through. That's actually a uh, floor pan bolt for the beetle. Just got to weld the head to the actual bracket itself. And that should do it fine. And I didn't show myself welding that in, it's quite difficult getting the camera set up in this tight corner here. But that's that new bump stop bracket welded in and a little coat of Pour 15 just to seal it up. Should hold. Just going to take these torsion bar covers off also, just to ensure that the rubbers not perish behind there. too sad. I might replace them anyway. A bit more of a complicated one this one. So you can see where my lines are. That's pretty much what needs cutting out. And this piece is totally gone also. Bit of a head scratcher.
cut the worst of it out now and uh, just give it a little treatment inside with the old rust converter. Just got to make the bits up now. Right, so I'm going to conclude there now for the day. That's a lot got done. I'm going to have a go at making those pieces needed when I get back to it. Although I am thinking that the uh, next video will definitely be me getting a bit done on the old beetle there. I think she's been neglected for way too long. But I'll just finish up and uh, give you a little glimpse of those panels that I've ordered in. Not only will it make my life a little easier, but it will save me a shed load of time also. So I've got two really well made pieces. First one being the brand new rear valance. Let's see if I can get this out. One handed. Excellent. And the second piece, a brand new early engine lid. So again, that saved me a hell of a lot of time, although they was quite costly. So I can crack on. See you on the next one.